to the Hero Network. And you see, you have to start the fight off by uh, knocking out all the lights that are at the end of his uh, tail feathers. And then, of course, you gotta knock him one as well. After that, he'll start doing uh, the, the swoop maneuver four times. You gotta be able to keep in mind whether he's gonna be swooping down, swooping up, and, uh, of course, have your timing accordingly. And then he's got these two special attacks. The first one doesn't cause too much issue unless you happen to be at either end of the stage when he initiates it. But uh, usually as long as you're running, then you're going to be fine. Maybe a, a cyclone at the very end towards it just to try to get the, uh, the advantage of an early strike right after his attack fails. Or finishes, I should say. Just like that. The uh, the blue energy sphere is going to be pretty much an ever-present constant in his attack strategies. Uh, they're very slow, but you will get hit multiple times. That is his screen nuke ability. It lasts for, what was it, like three seconds or so? And it does count for multiple hits, so if you get caught up in a laser, trust me, you're not going to just get hit once, and that's it you will get hit multiple times. You need to get away from the boss at that point and hope that you didn't perform like a cyclone or something right prior to it or else you're more likely than not going to get hit. Reason why? Well, the cyclone is a bit unwieldy. You're not going to have full control of your character when you do it. It is essentially timed, you're going to stay in that state unless you initiate a melee attack. But even then, you also carry momentum, just like in the Sonic series, so... Chances are, if you're doing the Cyclone, you're going to get hit by that laser. So you also gotta essentially keep in mind what maneuver you're doing and anticipate what maneuvers he's going to do. So, patience is definitely the key. However, after going through what is essentially three stages in one, each with a mini-boss at the end of its segments, I kind of wanted this level over, so I decided to say, fuck patience, there's going to be a fast way to beat this boss, I'm going to get, I'm going to try to beat this thing the fast way. And my god, it took me forever. Ladies and gentlemen, I will be cutting this, uh, I will be cutting out a lot from this boss fight, simply because, well, let's just say there's about an hour of footage left, <laughs> and it's just this boss fight and the, uh, the next cutscene that I recall, so, death. I'm basically going to show you up to, spoiler alert, my first uh, game over, then I'll give you a death montage and come back for actual commentary when I defeat the boss. I'll show the actual run in which I defeat him, not just the defeat of the boss itself, but that that's how I'm doing it because I really want to get this out there. I mean, there's this boss is supposed to teach you several different things. But this is a marathon boss at the end of a marathon level that's already bullshit enough as is. I'm not making it. That this whole level just felt like such a fucking cock block. Just, I was not having fun at all throughout this stage. And by the time I reached this boss fight, I wanted to kill something. And by the way, that first swoop attack comes in very, very quickly. Now, depending on where you stand, it'll depend on the altitude that he's going to uh, try to attack you at. T 
take advantage of that as much as possible because you can easily just have it so that he's never attacking you, he's just attacking a random position. But you have to, again, plan that shit out and you gotta be fast with it. And the Cyclone does slow you down. Now at this point I made the mistake and jumped towards him, whereas if I stayed in place I could have avoided the attack altogether. But I haven't really noticed that yet because I'm mostly paying attention to the boss. And then he just completely fucked me over with another one of those attacks that I was not expecting whatsoever at that point in time. <laughs> at that point I was contemplating suicide. <laughs> Anywho, welcome back to this boss. Yeah. We. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. If if you don't give it your all when you're fighting this guy, trust me, you are going to get your ass kicked. It's going to be handed to you quickly, and your frustration level is just going to get higher and higher and higher. I was freaking at this point. But thankfully the attack ended just when I wanted it to. It can be a major annoyance trying to hit the feathers on this boss as well. Just because of, uh, you know, his the way he flies, he, you know, he goes all over the place. That's when I realize I can just stay away from the attack altogether. I just need to make sure to have a little bit of distance and a hell of a lot of luck when it comes to where I'm at in the general vicinity and what maneuver I'm doing at the time. Again, Cyclone slows you down. If you're in Cyclone when he does that attack, you will more than likely get hit. <laughs> Can't stress that enough. And like I said, those lasers it isn't just a one hit and that's it. You can get hit by the same laser multiple times. And it's still going. I really wish I had a cigarette on me right now. Yeah, I've essentially described almost everything I can about this boss, and uh, you're, you're getting the, the general rough idea, so I'm just gonna cut until I actually beat the boss, so I shall see you in a bit.
Jesus fucking Christ, can you describe a nightmare or what? Either way, we are finally going to get past this boss, because at this point, I finally luck my way through it. How many times do you have to die by a boss before you start to understand its pattern? At least enough to hopefully not get hit? <laughs> Of course, from the looks of it, you would think that I'm doing the exact opposite, but... <laughs> hey, you know what? Fuck you, I beat it. I decided to grab those first, instead of trying to get in a few hits prior to his uh, ultimate attack. Follows that up with that little tornado bullshit. Let's go ahead, hit him, and start dodging his fucking fly-ins. I was lucky there. You can usually tell when he's going to do one of his uh, <clears throat> better attacks, like that ultimate one, when his uh, the ball sprite becomes mostly yellow. But uh, that's probably not going to be something you'll notice initially. You're more focused on trying to not get hit by the boss that you're not really fo- Oh, wait. You gotta have some of those red spots, too. Although, that usually tends to signify that he's going to do the, uh... Oh, you know how many times I've gotten caught up on that, uh, health refill? I swear, that thing is just as major a cause of death as almost anything else, but thank fuck. We have beaten this bird from hell. This is far from over. And he does mean it. We do have to fight him again later on down the road, and my god. That boss makes you want to tear your fucking hair out. Anywho, we somehow managed to get ourselves a bonus. But I'm also quite frustrated. But I got to say it just a bit by now seeing that, hey, you know what? I got a fucking shield. Huh. So that's why your airships are boat shaped. How could Zhao do this? He must have thought we were all he needed. We would have been ready if he had told us. No wonder Brevin's gotten away with everything. Our leaders are too brain dead to pay attention to anything but themselves! <sighs> Never mind. I'm just... I don't know. It's alright. How far is the closest city? Shang Tu is just a few miles east. The river should take us there. We'll give that panda guy an update on our situation. The Magister might be able to help. I hope he believes us. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Things have been pretty crazy so far, huh? Yeah. How long have you been away from your parents? I'm not sure. It feels like a really long time. And you've been alone in the woods ever since? Yeah. I hope this doesn't sound weird, but... <laughs> That's kind of impressive. I wouldn't survive a day without my treehouse. Hey, when this is all over, how about we have a girl's night out? Just you and me! You mean... a play date? <laughs> Something like that. We could try out some dresses, or maybe buy a huge plate of sushi and just pig out. What about Carol? Can she come too? Good luck getting her to put a dress on. <laughs> well, sure. I'd like that. Great. Look, everyone! The city! Haha, <laughs> my friends! How did the negotiations fare? Prince Dale took the stone. We need to speak to the Magistrate immediately. <sighs> I see. 
Very well, then. He deserves to know. A thousand good greetings to you, Magister. It's my understanding that Shui Gong is now in possession of the Kingdom Stone. Not exactly a greatness. Someone else has it. Explain. It's been taken by a warlord named Brevin. He has been manipulating the Three Kingdoms into waging war. And you have proof of this? This is a fragment of one of Brevin's machines. Have your scientists examine it. You'll find that its mineral composition doesn't match anything that's built on your world. Wait! Don't touch it! This theory you have of a man from another world sounds highly suspicious, at best. If you will allow me to explain, Magister, I have a different theory in mind. Proceed. This is nothing but an attempt from Mayor Zhao to cover up the atrocities he committed against our Kingdom's stone. He must have offered you a generous reward to come here and make up this ridiculous story. After all, you can't resist money, Sash Lilac and Carol T. And you know our names because... You were quite the fortune teller yesterday, so I couldn't resist doing a little background check. Not only have the two of you been stealing crystal shards, you've been working for the same group that claimed responsibility for the stone's theft. The Red Scarves. <gasps> Hey, look, Lilac, it's Sara. Identical twin sisters. They're criminals and spies, Your Excellency. Is this true? We were just... Wait. Magister, we're no longer members of the Scarves. It was a long time ago. We did what we had to to survive. Detain them until further notice. Make sure the commander and his evidence are properly quarantined. Hey, 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 easy! Magister, please! We don't have time for this! You're right. Take them away immediately. Examine the fragment! Examine it! Ah, uh, that stupid panda girl. Come closer. We can't let the guards hear us. Now, let's try and figure this out. We gotta bust out of here. But we can't leave without Torque. You got any bright ideas, Miss Hero Pants? It's not gonna be easy. He's been quarantined. What if we bribe the guards? Uh, Carol? We don't have any of our belongings. Ooh, ooh! I'll pretend I have to pee really bad, and then when they open the gate, we'll make a break for it! I told you, we can't leave without Torque. All right. Hmm. Oh, I got it now! First, we'll both switch clothes. Then I'll switch with Mila. And then when they... This way! What? Huh? I can dig through here! Well, that makes it easy. Let's go! Actually, only one of us should go. We don't want the guards to suspect anything. I'll go! For the team! The sooner you find Torque, the sooner we can get out of here. It has come to my attention that there are still chasers among us. We must neutralize them. Sha! I'll get you, Commander! According to our intelligence reports, direct infiltration of the city will be impossible without exposing our operations. As soon as they leave, I want them dragged to our remote base. Do whatever it takes to bring them under our control. Nice try. Well, there goes that plan. I'm sorry. Wait! Tell the Magister, I want to confess. What? Very well. It's okay. I have an idea. So Torque has nothing to do with this. We forced him to help us against his will. I see. Since you have displayed integrity in revealing this farce, I will release your friend. But this does not change your own fate. 
You and your companions have lied to us, and in doing so have wasted our time and resources. You will remain imprisoned until I deem otherwise. If I may make one last request, I want to say goodbye to him and apologize for the trouble I've caused. Very well. Make it quick. I don't know what to say. We needed Shang Tu's support. I know, but we can't do anything while we're all sitting behind bars. We need more evidence. But what about you guys? We'll catch up with you. Busting out of here will be a piece of crab cake. And with all that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, this is essentially going to be a part. Uh, I'll do a little sneak preview of this current level, but I won't really get too far. I decided to do a little bit more just, just to see what lied ahead and then figured screw it. I'll save that for a, for a later session. But yeah, uh, but hopefully you all enjoyed this video. It took me a hell of a time to actually get through it. Out of all the fucking times, phone. Well, if you enjoyed this video, then please, by all means, leave a like, comment, favorite, and of course, subscribe. I'm always looking for more, and definitely look forward to more videos within the series, hopefully without being interrupted by fucking phone calls. Anywho, I am your Lord and Savior Nero, and I shall see you when I feel like it.